Before coming out tonight to this event, you had to get dressed, maybe change your clothes. If you're an adult, you probably want to look presentable. Maybe you tried on a couple of sweaters, some shirts, and that's that. If you're a guy my age, you throw on a pair of jeans, a jacket, and you're out the door. If you're a girl my age, you're probably still at home getting ready. So, take a good look down at your outfit. Now, meet BT. At just 12 years old, she is forced to toil away, swing pockets on clothing for people just like you and I, only earning around 90 cents per day. BT lives in Bangladesh, and because she was born into a poor family, she is um, subjected to spend hours a day working instead of receiving an education. When she sees other girls on their way to school, she says she feels pain and heartbreak, as she used to dream of being a doctor, but has long since given up on that hope. Now, I just dream of standing up on my own feet, she says. Unfortunately, these situations are not uncommon, as there are many other children, just like BT, working to create much of the clothing that we wear. But the reality is, we don't re no one really cares about the stories behind their clothing. And as a result, we end up ruining the future of, thousands of hundreds of thousands of children who will never grow up to realize their dream just because of what we wear. Now, I asked you to look down at your clothes earlier because chances are someone like BT has helped to create a part of that at one point. Fast fashion has taken over the clothing industry with brands like H&M, Forever 21, and Zara leading the pack. These brands release new clothing all the time. From the drawing board to stores, it only takes big brands around 10 to 12 days to release new clothing. This might seem impressive. However, to release new clothing at such low prices and so rapidly, companies have to cut corners, trying to find the cheapest source of materials and labor, which to satisfy their needs ends up being children. Families are convinced by recruiters that their children will have access to education, food, and also get paid, when in reality, they are worked to their deaths. According to Sophie Oba, the global campaign coordinator of Stop Child Labor, there are many girls in countries like India and Bangladesh who are willing to work for very low prices and are easily brought into these industries under, under the, promise, the false promises of earning decent wages. These girls are forced to create most of the clothing items for the Western world, which doesn't pay attention to the hidden atrocities occurring in the fashion industry. This industry employs around 40 million people, many of which are underage and underpaid. We might not hear about the environmental impact or even the impact on the laborers, but it is still there and still impacting our well-being. In order to cut costs, companies also have to find the cheapest source of materials available. Over 60% of fabrics are now synthetics. Synthetics are made using fossil fuels, which basically means that they take a very long time to decompose. This means more trash in our landfills, and as a result, the problem could only get worse. Even fabrics such as cotton, which is a natural material, is made, in, is made using an abundance of pesticide and fertilizers. So, no material is safe from this problem. One example is China, which produces more than half of the world's garments. This takes a heavy toll on the country, and as a result, the population suffers. As a popular saying goes, you can see the next color in fashion by the color of the rivers. Here, we can see a river in northern Asia where the water turned red as a result of an illegal dye and wastewater dump. No, farmers and people were not only unable to access clean drinking water, but also n reported numerous health issues. As you can see, not only did the effect of the dye impact the well-being of the river, but the people and environment around it as well. Clothing production has doubled from 2000 to 2014, already exceeding 100 billion in 2014, and it does not seem to be slowing down. While the sustainability of the garments we wear seems to be the last thing on our minds, the fact is, the well-being and protection of workers in the fashion industry has plateaued, while companies continue to innovate and come up with new marketing strategies and ideas. Now more than ever, the well-being of our planet is being discussed, and ways to reduce our environmental impact are suggested every day. But we never discuss the impact of the fashion industry on our environment, our population, and most importantly, our future. So, the next time you go shopping, think about the power that you have to affect our planet. Maybe go to a thrift store, or even just know where your clothes are coming from, because who knows? Maybe with more conscious choices, BT will be on our way to receiving an education. Thank you.